Hey guys, I'm Dr. Megan Faulkner. We're here at Apex Sports Medicine. This is Bethany Shadburn and Austin Cochran of Streamline CrossFit. And we're here to give you guys our movement um, prep and our warm ups for 20.3. So 20.3 is deadlifts and a bunch of overhead work. We have handstand push ups and handstand walks. So we're going to begin with our mobility portion of our warm up. And we're going to have you do your foam rolling or lacrosse ball moves for our upper traps, gluteals lat muscles in our hamstrings. We've shown you guys all of these foam rolling uh, moves on our 20.1 and 20.2 videos, so please refer back to those. And then we're gonna move on to our activate portion of our warm ups. The first movement we're gonna do is a barbell tempoed active hamstring stretch. Okay, guys. So you're just gonna grab an empty barbell. And what I want you to do is you're actually gonna hinge at the hip. So you're gonna keep a nice flat line in your back while you hinge forward. This is tempo, so I want to do a nice slow five count all the way down to the point where you feel tension in the hamstrings, but you're keeping a nice flat back. Flat back. Hold for two seconds, and then you're going to slowly make your way up. So the point of this exercise is to lengthen out the hamstrings, get some blood flowing to the hamstrings, and then also ask them to contract through a nice full range of motion so that we're getting them ready for all of those deadlifts. Beautiful. The next added benefit to this exercise is that you're going to have to hold that barbell very close to your body and in doing so you will activate those lats. Again, a very important part of the pulling in our deadlifts. When our lats are contracted, they will tense up the back part um, or our uh, thoracolumbar fascia, which will help tense our low back and keep it really nice and safe and stable for all of the deadlifts as well. So we are going to do 15 movements right here, very slow tempoed. Um, hamstring stretches. Up next, we're going to do our dead frog exercise. You're going to start laying face down, and this exercise is designed to activate the whole posterior chain and get you ready for those deadlifts again. So you're going to start with our opposite arm and leg. You're going to hit a diagonal here. Lift the arm and leg off the ground. Pull to the side, bending both the knee and the elbow, keeping them elevated off the ground. Return to that starting point and then rest down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 10 per side here. For time's sake, we're just gonna show you three so you can see the transition. Nice. <clears throat> here is designed to activate the glutes, the back, and the opposite sided shoulder. An added benefit as you bring the elbow close to your side is that we're also including the lat, which again we talked about is really important in the deadlift move. If you're finding that this exercise is too advanced for you and you're not able to get in these positions, you can start with one of two different modifications. Here, Austin's showing us how you're doing the lift and you're just including the arm and you're keeping the leg straight behind you in extension. And you can do 10 per side here. If the arm is too difficult to get into, you can just simply do a lift and hold, which Austin's gonna show you here, and then relax back down. And you can do 10 of those per side as well. The lat pull down and dead bed variety is going to help again incorporate our lat muscles um, and the core. So always we want to do some sort of core activation. It's the uh, foundation from all movement. We want to make sure that it's nice and stiff and ready for activity uh, and that will help you in all of the movements, the deadlifts and all the overhead movements. So you're going to take a band and you can hook it up to the, bit, uh, to the rig just like this. You're gonna get a little bit of a wider grip and you're gonna do a straight arm pull down. That will immediately engage your lats. Then you're gonna pick up the knees and you're gonna have a nice 90 degree angle here in the knees. Holding our rib cage down to the ground, this is very important. You're gonna slowly straighten out one leg, hold for a second, and then return back up to that 90 degree position here. So we are going to do 15 total per side. Nice. If you don't have bands like this, or you do have some sort of other banding, you can also use, we have a crossover symmetry uh, system. You can use another version like that um, off of the wall or off the rig. Same idea. You're going to pull all the way down to get a nice contraction in those lats. Same idea. Keep those ribs close to the ground. Don't let them pop up as you move the legs through full range of motion here. So to start warming up our overhead movements for the handstand push-ups and the handstand walks, we're going to do wall walk to eight shoulder taps. And here we're going to show you guys how to do those wall walks. Nice. And then you're just going to sit there and do eight taps. 
Here you get a nice variability going from double arm to single arm and you get to um, activate those shoulder stabilizers so they can perform for you overhead in the handstand push-ups. Last move we're going to do is a dual kettlebell or dumbbell overhead walk. We're going to do two sets of 50 foot walks and again just to uh, get some overhead mobility and stability warm those shoulders up for both the handstand walks and the handstand push-ups. Nice and controlled make sure you get the shoulders and the elbows and the wrists stacked right up over your head and that our ribs stay down just like Austin's doing here. Nice and controlled. You'll walk for 50 feet Take a quick break and walk for another 50 feet. Check it, check it, choo choo! <laughs> so we've gone over the mobility portion of our movement prep and this activation and stability portion of our movement prep. And as always, we have a specific portion for you to go through the actual movements of 20.3 and get you ready to perform at your highest. So Bethany's going to take you through what she would do for 20.3. All right, guys, for a more specific warm up, I would do two rounds of five, de five deadlifts at 125 and 185, um, and then five handstand push ups. Then I would go over, go a little bit heavier with your weight on the deadlifts and do two rounds of five deadlifts at 175 and 275, and then a 10 foot handstand walk. Good luck, guys. Good luck.